The stomach uh, trial is actually a basket trial that enrolls patients with ERBB2 or HER2 mutations. And these mutations can be seen in many tumor types, including in breast cancer. In fact, in breast cancer, the prevalence of these mutations is about 2 to 3% in primary breast tumors, but it's as high as 7 to 8% in metastatic tumors. And it has also been implicated as a mechanism of resistance to endocrine therapies. And what we have already reported and published is that when we use niratinib, a pan-irreversible tyrosine kinase inhibitor against HER2, with monotherapy against these HER2 mutant tumors, we saw a response rate of about 17% and a median progression-free survival of about 3.6 months. What we've also learned is that there is a crosstalk between HER2 and the estrogen receptor pathways. And to uh, take advantage of that finding, we evaluated the combination of neratinib with fulvestrant within the same summer trial and reported and have published the results of this doublet therapy and have shown that there was an incremental gain where we saw the response rates improve to about 30% and the progression free survival for the doublet was 5.4 months. What we presented at the San Antonio meeting this year was data for efficacy in the breast cohort for a triplet strategy. We evaluated the triplet combination of neratinib with fulvestrant and trastuzumab. And the reason we chose trastuzumab is when we evaluated cell-free DNA from pre and upon progression uh, samples, both tumor and tissue, we saw that the mechanisms of resistance was related to HER2 alterations, including HER2 amplifications, which is why we hypothesized that the triplet with the trastuzumab or dual HER2 blockade might be more effective. And surely enough, with the triplet, we now have reported an overall response rate of about 46% and median progression fee survival of 8.3 months. But the big question here is, what is the true and definitive contribution of trastuzumab in this combination regimen? And to address that, we have now amended the protocol such that patients will now be randomized one is to one is to one to either receiving the triplet regimen, the doublet of full Western plus trastuzumab, or single agent full Western where the doublet and single agent full restaurant patients will be allowed to have a crossover upon progression. So we await the results from this randomized data.